Man. I'm talking about I need some more now than ever before. It real out here. My little chocolate fixation, baby. I miss you, man. everything because I want the curls to be as tight as possible and then for here I did the pin curls because I wanted to see if I basically can make myself work smarter and not harder and basically just go through and bobby pin and I do like the way this look but I most definitely I'm gonna unravel it each one take a cute little piece of hair out and then pin curl it back and then pin it and so we're gonna see how well that goes and then here as far as in the perimeter since this is not a full lace wig we're hoping to do a little teasy 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 and like blendy 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 so yeah we got a method to our madness and literally this is off of the dome of my freaking head so if it come out it come out if it don't it don't but one thing i do know is we gonna make it work now will i be able to put it on my head that's the real question but if not honestly it's practice literally it's freaking practice you know something funny Ooh, my double chin <laughs> but why is it that my new front tires are 10 times better looking and quality than my two back tires that I got a discount tire for more money. And even from the very beginning, I was like, are these even new tires type of thing? So I think I officially have determined my tire guy will be my tire guy until I don't like I can go to him because time and time again he has given me quality products for hella cheap the price and when I tell you I got hooked up with this tire he hooked me up like I knew who hooked me up but I didn't realize he was gonna hook me up with some good ass tires so really follow your intuition and yeah that's all I gotta say <laughs> Before I take my shower, like, it took me a minute to realize this nigga was trying to chastise me and basically say I don't know what I'm doing with my dog. And granted, it is a learning experience, but number one, 
he took a positive situation between Snoop Dogg and a neighbor that he loves the fucking most and he turned it into a bad situation with his assumption. So he stops me and he starts asking me questions and in the midst of him asking his questions um one question in partic particular where he hurry up and made his assumption of why he's stopping me and as soon as he did that i was like what because you didn't ask me how long have i had pit bulls because i've had pit bulls longer than i've had this pit bull you specifically asked me how long i've had have i had this pit bull long and this pit bull i haven't had that long so he took that he ran with it that i'm not knowledgeable of pit bulls so instead of him from the beginning saying hey you should really you know well hey he's trying to tell me i don't get my dog love basically because he saw the belt around my corner but it's like you don't know what this belt is for because literally i have proven that this belt is useful for these stray fucking dogs that be around here coming up on me and stoop dogs so number one it is a weapon for stray dogs number two it's my weapon if i gotta react to people like you like look literally it's going around your neck and i'm fucking pulling that bitch until i can't pull no more literally don't let this belt get around your neck type of shit so it's like i know he may be looking at that and assuming i just whip my dog and da 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 and so he does all this whole spiel and basically chastising me and he was like, give your dog love, love. And I was like, we work on that. Like, that's something we're working on. Like, you say and all it is, and we're doing that. And it's like, what pissed me off the most is the fact that, like, in the midst of that whole encounter, not only was I telling Snoop Dogg to fucking calm down, the neighbor lady... <coughs> was telling him to calm the fuck down. So it's like, you making this whole bad assumption and literally in the midst of you making your assumption, both of us are actually trying to tell him like, calm down, you don't have to be overly excited. Like, we're doing that and we're doing it lovingly. So it's like, nigga, get the fuck up out of my face at that point. I was like, that's what you stopped me for? And then it's like, once you get to this whole thrill of the point, like, I'm like, really, nigga, that's what you stopped me for? And so I finally got my karma because literally this nigga was tripping and watching me walk my dog. And so he finally leaves the apartment after seeing me and Snoop Dogg and seeing that I know how to fucking walk my freaking dog like i don't know what the freak he was thinking but he all waves all excitingly and i'm just like looking at him and just giving him that nigga we ain't friends type of look i can't even remember but i do know it wasn't no smile i just literally i just stared at him <laughs> as he drove off because no you're not about to make your assumptions like he lost me when he was like, he pointed back there as saying like the lady was scared of him. And it's like, for starters, I know people are scared of dogs. I know the history of dogs. Well, I know the history of pit bulls, where they come from, why they were breeded, their strengths, and what is something that you really have to be mindful of them. And even in the midst of him even making an assumption, literally, I'm telling the neighbor, like, yeah, I've heard that pit, bull, pit bulls, when they really want to go for something, like, literally, they will keep going until they kill themselves. So that's like literally i'm giving her a lesson as you're making this assumption that i don't know what i'm doing like this is like no and i just like it's not bothering me but it's like i just can't believe like literally like literally you don't even know what's going on and you should have just started off with saying, hey, like, you should, you know, shouldn't have your dog jumping on people like that. And easily I could have been like, oh, she allows him to do that. Because she does. Like, literally, out of everybody who greets him, she is the one who does not care if he gets her dirty or nothing like that. So you're taking, at this point, you're taking the dog's love that he gives this person away and making the dog bad because this is something that she allows him to do. Like, you're just making so many wrong assumptions. 
Like, instead, you need to freaking ask. So, that's what the thing is. I just don't like assumptions. And so, we got to talk about the assumptions. Because, bitch, what? No. But, no, yeah. It's just, like, so many things in that whole scenario that he was asking all these fucking questions. Where, if you was right there front and fucking center, you could have seen all of this shit that was fucking going on that you're assuming. If you would have been back, like, three dog bitches ago, you would have heard this lady specifically tell me, let him jump on me. I want his love. I want his jumps. I want it all. You would be there for that situation where literally from the person I got the confirmation that it's okay for him to give his love the way he wants to give his love to her. So, yeah. It's like, stop assuming. Because you come out looking stupid in the end. And then that's when y'all want to get mad because your assumption was wrong. And you got a problem with being wrong. That's not my fault you don't know how to ask questions as far as understanding what's something you don't understand what's going on. And number two, don't come to me if you barely can speak English trying to chastise me nigga what that's where he completely lost me this is like for starters nigga you didn't even ask that question right you didn't even ask that question right and you knew you probably you knew you asked that question wrongly too because you pointed to the dog specifically and you ran with it nigga no nah, i caught that shit just where you messed up at like when you like i can catch where you mess up at that's me so yeah that was my morning. It started off positive and then someone's power of assumption tried to make a positive situation a negative and 100%. Yeah, no. It's still a positive situation, nigga. You can, don't be mad because no pit bull like you. And deep down inside, I feel like, is this that man who got that rowdy ass um, <coughs> German Shepherd? Because if this is you, my nigga, you fucking stay away from me because you have to have a muzzle on your dog. There's something wrong with you at this point if you have to have a muzzle on your dog. So I hope it's not him, but it, if it is him, yeah, nigga, like, the fact that your dog literally has to walk around with his muzzle on his mouth, that says more about your character than my character. So, yeah, that's a power assumption. But I never assumed until this very moment if you are that person who has that German Shepherd. Because at this point, I can judge you. Cause you letting me know that you don't give your dog love type of shit. So yeah, bitch.